Uh, here's another really cool classic Star Wars toy from the early 80s. It's Kenner's Electronic Snow Speeder from Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. Episode 5 in the Star Wars series, movie series, is probably my most favorite uh, movie of all of them. My favorite scene out of that movie is, of course, the Battle Hoth scene, where you see the Imperial walk walkers marching across Hoth, and you see these snow speeders buzzing all over the place trying to take them down. Some really, really good special effects of these things flying through the legs and wrapping around them. and It's it's an awesome sequence. As a matter of fact, when Shadows of the Empire came out on the N64, it's the whole reason why I bought a Nintendo 64. Because it had the uh, Battle of Hoth uh, scene in it, which is my favorite level to play on that game. I could play that for hours just on that level alone. It's a really, really cool game. I've got it here complete in the box, and I will eventually do an episode, a video on it, uh, sometime in the near future. But anyway, we're talking about this vintage 80s Kenner Snow Speeder. Now, they had a re-release back in 95, which I do have that one as well, complete in the box, which I'll do a separate video on. And we'll do a little comparison between the vintage and the Power of the Force one, Power of the Force 2 line, a Snow Speeder. Anyway, we're going to talk about this one. This one I did a restoration job on, but I picked it up. Uh, the electronics didn't work at all. Uh, I took it all apart. Uh, the motor was pretty much dead in it. I couldn't revive it. So I got a new harness, put a new motor in it, new uh, uh, lamps for the laser cannons, and got it all put back together and got it working uh, really well. I did a live stream as I restored this originally. I'll put a link down in the video notes below if you want to go watch the live stream I did when I was restoring this. I opted not to clean this up. I just left the yellowing on the plastic. Uh, I have been cleaning these up, but this one I decided not to do it. I'm just going to leave it like it is. Just leave it alone. But what's really neat about this is, you know, it has some little action features to it like I was just talking about. We have the lights and sound. It has a retractable landing gear. Underneath, it's got the tow hook in the back that can detach, just like in the movie. It's got some really cool play features to it. Uh, I do like that you can put two figures in this, you know, one for flying and one for manning the tow hook in it. I don't have a Hoth soldier to put in there, so I'm using my Luke X-Wing fighter pilot <laughs> to be sitting inside the cockpit right now. You can look through the window, you can see him back there. <laughs> I know, Willie's weird. I remember seeing these on the store shelves. Uh, the main store I got a lot of my Star Wars stuff from was either Hills Department Store, Sears, JCPenney, or Service Merchandise. Of all the stores, Service Merchandise had the best Star Wars display. They had like aisles and aisles of nothing but these Star Wars toys with, with cardboard uh, stand-ups and things hanging from the ceiling. Uh, they actually had some of these ships hanging from the ceiling as well, out of the box, which I thought was cool. I, I didn't really see that very much back then, but whoever the toy aisle manager, toy area manager was at this service merchandise, they actually unboxed some of these ships and had them hanging from the ceiling, so you could actually see the toy out of the box, which I think was probably a really good marketing strategy because you actually see what you're getting. It's got some really great decals on it. It's, it's a good-looking ship. Uh, it's one of my favorites from the Star Wars movies. So anyway, let's take a closer look at this. All right, let's take a closer look at the Kenner Snow Speeder. Pretty awesome little design here. This is a really cool looking ship that uh, Lucasfilm came up with for The Empire Strikes Back. I really like the design of it. It's pretty awesome. Of course, we have an opening canopy here. So have your uh, pilot inside. I don't have a Hoth action figure. Rebel Soldier, so I put a Luke X-Wing fighter pilot in there. <laughs> we put another figure back here in the back to man the little tow hook gunner station as well. Pretty cool. Of course we have the tow hook cannon right there. Tow hook is removable. It's a bear to put back on. It wants to fall off every time you mess around with this crazy thing. We have two C batteries which are located in this compartment right here. This will pop off to reveal to reveal the two batteries inside. 
we have light up cannons and we have a sound effect. So let's take a closer look at the toy here. So we flip it over you see the retractable landing gear. So we'll put the landing gear back in position. So now it's in its stowed position. I pull this lever right there. Boink! Out it comes. That, that's a nice little feature. This little square button here is what activates the sound and the lights. Pretty awesome. Of course on the back you can see the tow hook uh, cable and the part that fastens to the snow speeder which actually comes off just like the movie. So if you got the Imperial Walker toy you can pretend to wrap up its legs. There's a nice better shot of the cannon right there. Funny story about this, when I was in the process of restoring this toy I dropped the original one of this on the floor and within seconds my pug grabbed it. And this is the carnage before I got it away from him. He chewed the living daylights out of it. He's like a little land shark out here in my game cave. He's always on the prowl looking for something to pounce on it and chew. <laughs> anyway, a lot of great decals. It looks really, really good. Of course, one of the neatest features about this is the lights and sounds. You push the little square button on the bottom. You see the lights light up in the laser cannons. It's just cool. And you hear the little noise which simulates the laser which considering it's a reed and a, a gear that's doing that sound effect it does sound like a laser a little bit every once in a while the motor will get stuck because the battery's a little bit weak so it just lights up only pretty cool I, mean, I absolutely love this ship from the Empire Strikes Back I gotta find some place to hang this up out here in my room in my game cave. Anyway, do any of you have memories of this toy from back in the 80s? Did you have one of these when they originally came out? If so, comment down below. What do you think about Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, out of all nine Star Wars movies? How does that one rank uh, in that series with you? I'll be interested here down below as well. And what's one of your favorite scenes from Empire Strikes Back? As I mentioned before, I like the Battle of Hoth scene. That's my favorite scene in that Star Wars movie. Anyway, that's the Rebel Snowspeeder from the Empire Strikes Back. As always, everyone, thanks for watching. Armored Snowspeeder from Star Wars, the Empire Strikes Back collection. You have to put it together. Action figures each sold separately. New from Kenner.